What is poppin' calisthenics fam? My name is Brendan Myers, and today we're gonna debunk yet another myth and controversial topic in the fitness industry. So just a few hours ago, my girlfriend and I were going to lunch. We walked by an LA Fitness where a personal trainer was outside handing these flyers, saying, oh, if you wanna build true muscle and size, come and join me in the gym, this is the way. And as we were walking by, he pretended to hand me a flyer, he said, ah, oh, no, I'm just kidding, I know you, you've been probably training in the gym, and all, you know all the resistance and volume you need to be doing. I said, yes, I do understand that. But let me ask you a question. Do you think you can't build true muscle size off of just body weight training? He said, oh, absolutely not. You need squats, you need deadlifts, bench, that increase the volume, the resistance, you need resistance. And I said, but, and I handed him my phone, I said, what about John here? Or, and I kept on swiping, how about William? Or Amen? Uh, how about Seb? How about Cole? Or how about myself? I mean, in six weeks, when I came back, I gained seven pounds off of my body Evo training system. How about all these people? And he said, oh, there's, there's no way. He didn't believe it, he was dumbfounded. And what I think it comes down to is that many individuals don't truly understand how to build muscle. And that's an issue for novices, especially because if you don't know and you're misled, you're misguided, then you might be missing out on something that's incredible for your body. Uh, and the one thing that people question me whenever I'm talking about this debate, they say, oh, well, bodybuilders aren't huge. What now? Uh, and I was like, well, they aren't huge off of what? He said, they're not huge off of only bodyweight trainer. I say, well, that's because they haven't tried it. Have you seen a specific bodybuilder like the uh, Ronnie Coleman or someone of that stature and, and genetics do only bodyweight training? No, I haven't seen it. And until that day, I will say that bodyweight training is incredible. You can build muscles fast. Now, what it comes down to is resistance. So what is resistance training? You know, resistance training is defined by an exercise requiring muscle contraction against any type force and it's just that so when you're talking about Ronnie Coleman when you're talking about a bodybuilder when you're talking about physique competitor or whatever to build muscle they need to be forcing those muscle contractions to be high very very high intensity and going against a resistance so how do you increase muscle outside of only you know a resi an external resistance so you could talk about time under tension you got speed and then you also have the weight of the resistance which will be increased by the intensity and when you talk about intensity you're saying decreasing leverage you're talking about uh, increasing speed, you have controlled movements, which is the time under tension, and then you, show all, you also have the lengthening of the movement. And those are all different ways you can increase the intensity to make it harder and increase the resistance for your body weight training. And if someone tells you like, hey, you know, uh, the only way to build the muscle in body weight training is if like you're taking something or if, <laughs> if you ha are adding weight to your pull-ups, then that's not body weight training in a sense if you understand what I'm saying that's weight training and when it comes down to body weight training yes if you increase variation you will build muscle size fast I've proven it with thousands of people that have followed my teachings that have followed the body evil training system that have followed everything that I've said about body weight and not even myself I've seen other people around me only body weight training building incredible size so like when you're talking about going to the park when you're talking about in-home training how do you truly build this size it's more than just saying oh well increase variation increase resistance doesn't matter if you add weight or whatever you can build size it's more than that you know you have to be focusing on what type of repetitions you're doing the sets the complete volume and the frequency so let's just dive into it really quick you know well, outside of the gym what should we, you be doing with your body weight training well you should not be doing high reps to build muscle first of all and that's what a lot of gym goers might think like oh I can only do push-ups uh, dips and pull-ups those are just they're too easy for me well Come follow me really quick and let's see how easy you can do this push up or this variation of a pull up or this variation of a dip. No, you will not be able to do a bunch of repetitions. And also, uh, are you increasing your speed? Are you increasing your leverage? What are you doing specifically that will make it even harder? So, Let's talk about these repetitions. You should be doing six to 13 repetitions when you're outside at the park, and then your rest periods should be anywhere from 45 seconds to a minute 
and a half. Now, your sets, this is very, very important, should be three to five sets. You can even increase it to six if it's progressive and you're getting stronger and you understand how to structure programs. This all comes down to progressive overload. Like everyone says, progressive overload is only in the gym. No, it's not. You're overloading your body with different types of training mechanisms. Biomechanics is extremely important and just understanding the kinesiology of your body so you can increase or decrease leverages, increases speeds and time under tension, all these different things in your training system. Now, volume, like I said, is so important that reps times sets. So how much of it are you doing? That's why I said the sets need to be a little bit higher for bodyweight training because the resistance is a bit different in regards to you're not adding an external force. You don't know, oh, well, this is 195 pounds on the bench press. No, you're doing a push up. You can't say, oh, this is a, a specific uh, exact amount of force being provided. You don't have like any devices to prove that at that moment in time at the park. So you need to be focused on all those different things. Now, outside of the training mechanisms that I just discussed, it's also diet related. Diet has a huge factor. If you think you can't build size off of just your diet alone, then you need to really understand dieting and nutrition because that's where it all is. That's where it lies. You know, if you're training correctly and any, or even if you're training a little bit, you can still build size, you can still lean down. It's just all comes down to your nutrition. So are you eating well? That's most important. Are you eating well to maintain your weight or gain weight? And that's where you need to be focused on because hypertrophy, right? So if you're eating 500 calories more per day, you're gonna gain a pound per week. Now you can also increase that if your metabolism is a bit faster or if you're burning more calories throughout the day, it's easy. So if you're 2200 calories for maintenance calories, you need to be eating 2700 calories. But you also need to make sure you're eating your healthy fats, which are extremely important, so like avocados, walnuts, I eat those two things all the time. And then also your carbohydrates, I eat sweet potatoes like it's nothing, uh, russet potatoes, and also your fibrous carbs, making sure you're eating a lot of leafy greens and all those vegetables, uh, and then fruits and things like that. So pineapples, apples, uh, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, all those. So make sure you're eating healthy at the same time, you'll build lean muscle and keep off that fat immediately as you do. So if you take all these things into account and and you, <laughs> you, know, you think about, oh, well, can you truly build uh, a muscle off of bodyweight training? Well, yeah, you can. You'll know immediately, okay, let me put it into play. Let me try and prove Brendan wrong. And then you'll see, oh, I am building size, just like all the people that I showed at the beginning of this video. Those are true transformations. All thousands of people that have followed my teachings and my programs and things, it's all true because I understand how to really build muscle. I'll never tell someone that is only bench pressing that you can't build muscle. It makes no sense. I'll never tell someone that is doing bodyweight training that you can't build muscle. It makes no sense. Resistance is resistance at the end of the day. So this is another debunked myth. Hopefully you enjoyed. Comment down below if you did enjoy this video and just let me know if you think otherwise. If you can prove me wrong, I will hear you out and I will change my answer because you know what's most important when a, a critic comes in with information that I don't know and knowledge that I don't know because this is where we become wise. This is where we grow as individuals. This is where we really progress throughout our lives and strengthen everything that we're trying to strengthen in our lives towards being just better versions of ourselves. But until that day, I'm going to keep on going strong because I understand my philosophy. I understand my degree that I went to Florida Atlantic University for. I understand the experiences I've had and the transformations that I've seen and it's been proven again and again and again and again and again that you can build incredible size and fast muscle on your body with only body weight training. So hopefully you enjoyed it again. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. It's dark. It is dark right now. I said a few hours ago for lunch. That was probably like eight hours ago. Peace.